Did you know that your fridge and pantry hides a lot of healthy superfoods for your cat? In today's video, we'll talk about 12 human foods that can work wonders for your cat's health. We'll also reveal one human food that can help increase your cat's water intake, as cats are notorious picky drinkers. First up, cooked meat. Chicken, turkey, beef, they're all on the menu for your whiskered companion. These meats are rich in essential nutrients, specifically high-quality proteins and vitamins such as A, B, and D. Proteins are critical for building and repairing tissues, while the vitamins play diverse roles. So how should you serve this nutrient powerhouse? It should be boiled, grilled, or baked, but never fried. Fried foods are high in fats and oils that can lead to an upset kitty stomach. And what about serving it raw? Raw meat can harbor harmful bacteria like salmonella, which can lead to serious health problems. However, if you've got frozen meat, you can serve it thawed, just make sure it's at room temperature. Here's an important heads up, when it comes to seasoning, less is more. And spices such as onions and garlic can be toxic to cats. So when serving meat, keep it plain and simple. Lastly, let's talk about bones. They can pose a serious choking hazard and even cause intestinal blockage. So always make sure that any meat you serve is bone-free. Number 2. Fish. Now we're venturing into stereotypical cat territory. But the truth is, not all fish are created equal for our little carnivores. Fish is an excellent source of protein and omega-3 fatty acids, which are great for your cat's heart and brain. So what types of fish can you serve your kitty? Salmon is a great choice, as it's high in beneficial nutrients. On the flip side, avoid fish high in mercury, like mackerel and swordfish. Mercury is a neurotoxin that can harm your cat's nervous system, so it's best to steer clear of these. And did you know that a lot of fish can be harmful for cats? Fish-based diets can lead to a vitamin E deficiency, cause inflammation, and even risk exposing your cat to heavy metals and toxins. As with meat, bone safety is critical. Fish bones can be sharp and tiny, posing a serious choking hazard. And cooking doesn't always make them safe. Speaking of cooking, raw fish is a no-go. It can contain bacteria and parasites that can cause foodborne illnesses. Lastly, a word on canned tuna. While it's a treat many cats love, it should be given only in moderation, because it's not nutritionally complete and too much can lead to mercury poisoning. Now let's talk about something a little surprising, pumpkin. Pumpkin is a fantastic source of dietary fiber for your cat. If they're dealing with constipation or diarrhea, a little bit of pumpkin can help with that. It's also high in vitamins A and C, which are great for boosting their immune system. You can serve it raw or cooked, but most cats prefer it cooked and mashed. It's just easier for them to eat. Just make sure to avoid pumpkin that's been canned. Canned pumpkin often has additives like sugars and spices, which aren't great for your cat's health. Next up on our list are sweet potatoes. They're packed with beta carotene, which converts into vitamin A in your cat's body, super important for their vision, bones, and immune system. Plus, sweet potatoes are rich in dietary fiber, helping to keep your cat's digestive system running smoothly. Always serve them cooked, mashed, or pureed. Raw sweet potatoes can be tough on your cat's digestive system. Just remember, no additives or salt. Cats don't need the extra sodium, and some additives can be harmful. Plain cooked sweet potato is best. One thing to keep in mind, sweet potatoes are high in carbohydrates. Too much can lead to weight gain, which we want to avoid. As with everything, moderation is key. Continuing our surprising list, we have carrots. Carrots are an excellent source of vitamins, specifically vitamin A, which is great for your cat's eyes. But that's not all. Carrots are also great for your cat's dental health. When they crunch on raw carrots, it can help clean their teeth and promote good oral hygiene. Just a tip though, when serving carrots, always cut them into small bite-sized pieces, we don't want any choking hazards. Plus, smaller pieces are easier for your cat to eat and digest. Next on our list are eggs. Eggs are loaded with protein and packed with essential amino acids that your cat needs. They also contain a bunch of vitamins, like A, B2, and B12, along with minerals such as selenium and iron. All this goodness can contribute to your cat's overall health. 
But let's get one thing straight, eggs should always be served cooked. Raw eggs can contain salmonella, which can cause food poisoning. Plus, raw egg whites contain a protein called avidin, which can reduce the absorption of certain vitamins. As great as eggs are, they should be given in moderation. Eggs are high in fats, and too much can lead to obesity and other health issues. As a rough guide, a quarter of a cooked egg a few times a week should be enough. What about bananas? They are packed with potassium, which supports heart and kidney function. They also contain vitamin B6, which can help your cat's brain development and function. Just remember that bananas have a high sugar content. Cats aren't designed to process a lot of sugar, so too much can lead to health issues like obesity and diabetes. That's why bananas should be given in moderation. Think of it as a rare treat, not a regular snack. Secondly, the ripeness of the banana matters. Opt for bananas that are yellow with a touch of green. They have less sugar than overly ripe bananas, which can be too sweet for your cat. This next one may really surprise you, a watermelon. Watermelon is a great source of vitamins A and C. But what makes it stand out is its high water content. This can actually contribute to keeping your cat hydrated, especially during summer. When serving watermelon to your cat, always ensure it's seedless and rind-free. Seeds can cause intestinal blockages, and the rind can be difficult for them to digest. Also, while watermelon can be a hydrating treat, it's important to monitor their intake of sugar. Like bananas, watermelons are high in sugar, so it should be given as an occasional treat and not a daily snack. Next we have spinach. Spinach is packed with vitamins A and C, along with iron and antioxidants. These nutrients contribute to your cat's overall health, supporting everything from their eyesight to their immune system. But there's a crucial point to remember. While spinach can be a healthy addition to your cat's diet, it's not suitable for all cats. If your cat has a history of urinary problems, it's best to avoid it. Spinach can cause crystals to form in the urinary tract of cats that are prone to this issue, which can lead to painful urinary health conditions. Our next one may surprise you, especially if you're a sushi fan. Did you know that seaweed, specifically the type known as nori, can be beneficial for cats? Nori is a type of seaweed that's often used to wrap sushi rolls. It's packed with vital nutrients, as well as minerals like iodine, which can support your cat's thyroid health. Also, it's essential to serve nori without any additives, like salt or flavorings, which can be harmful to your cat. The best option is to serve it plain and dried. Next on our list are blueberries. Blueberries are packed with antioxidants, vitamins, and fiber. Antioxidants can help protect your cat's cells from damage, while fiber aids digestion and the vitamins support overall health. Now let's talk about grains, specifically, rice and quinoa. Both can be a safe part of your cat's diet, with some benefits to boot. First up, rice. It's often used in commercial cat foods as a healthy filler. It's easily digestible and can be especially good for cats with sensitive stomachs. Next, quinoa. This superfood for humans is also safe for cats. It's packed with protein and essential amino acids that your cat needs. It also has anti-inflammatory properties which can support your cat's overall health. But keep in mind, both rice and quinoa are high in carbohydrates. While cats can process carbs, their primary source of energy should be protein. So these grains should only be a small part of their diet and not a mainstay. Now for our final tip, a hydration hack for your cat. Have you ever considered adding broth to their water? This simple trick can increase your cat's water intake, which is especially important since cats often don't drink enough on their own. The flavorful broth can make the water more appealing, encouraging them to drink more. Just add a few drops of broth to their water bowl and mix it. When choosing a broth, you want to make sure it's cat-friendly. That means no onion, garlic, or high levels of sodium, all of which can be harmful to cats. Opt for low-sodium chicken or beef broth without any added seasonings. Did you know that a lot of human foods are actually extremely harmful for cats? Check out this video, where we reveal most toxic foods for cats. And be sure to subscribe to our channel and join our feline-loving community.